A reporter in Guelph is looking for answers from Ontario Provincial Police and the coroner's office after he was detained and had his camera seized while reporting on a story. Guelph Today journalist Richard Vivian was taking pictures at a scene of a fatal collision when the incident took place. CTV's Jeff Pickle is following this story for us tonight and joins us live with more tonight. So, Jeff, you spoke with Richard earlier today about this. Well, and Alex, it's a bit unusual for a reporter to be interviewing another reporter. And Richard says he much prefers to be the one asking the questions than out in front of the camera. But he says he believes what happened wasn't right. and He's willing to speak out to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, police have some cones up, presumably where they have uh, evidence. For Guelph Today senior reporter Richard Vivian, it was just another day at the office. I've covered, I think it would be fair to say, hundreds of collision scenes and dozens of fatalities. Yesterday morning, Vivian was called to a fatal crash at the Hanlon at College Avenue. With the road closed and sidewalk open, Vivian said he walked closer to the scene. So I'm still a good, you know, 40 meters from uh, from the scene. Um, I just raised my camera, literally a couple of seconds, and then the officer is in my face. While it's not uncommon for police to ask the public and media to move back, Vivian says what happened next was a first. Grabs my jacket cuff, uh, wrist, left wrist, to uh, restrain me. Uh, I told him to let me go. He said no. Uh, he demanded I give him the camera. He told me I was being detained. After being detained for about 15 minutes, Vivian says police returned his camera, but without the memory card. What I was told by the officer was that the coroner's boss had come to the scene and had decided that uh, they didn't want to interrupt my ability to uh, do my job. So I got the camera back, but they were keeping the card. According to legal expert Ari Goldkind, it appears police are in the wrong. Was I think the OPP knows they've got a problem on their hands. If I was the reporter, I would be contacting counsel. He says that during a death investigation, the coroner's office does have expanded powers, but he says this appears to be a clear overreach. This wasn't somebody obstructing. This wasn't somebody with secret information. The police officers on their own cell phones could have taken the very same pictures the reporter was. Vivian says the situation could have been handled through a simple discussion. Uh, my general approach would be to uh, comply with some negotiation. Well, what do you mean back up? How far? That sort of thing. He says it's not up to the police to police what reporters gathered. It would hurt us as a, as a company, uh, my reputation personally, if we were to run something that showed a body or like we even crop license plates out at fatality accident photo above all else he hopes it doesn't happen again now alex we just uh, heard back from richard about an hour ago and says he just got his memory card back uh, for his camera it was returned with all the pictures still on it but the larger question of why they took it remains unanswered and Jeff, we understand there may be some legal action coming from this incident. Oh, well, certainly, Alex. According to Guelph Today, their parent company, Village Media, plans to file a formal complaint with the coroner's office and the Ontario Provincial Police. And the Canadian Association of Journalists also weighing in, calling the situation an egregious abuse of power and a blatant violation of press freedom. Alex. Okay, CTV's Jeff Pickle joining us live with this story tonight. Thank you for the